In just the past five seasons, over 60% of teams making playoff impact trades improved their postseason performance. So which NFL teams nailed the trade deadline? And who blew their season with a single move? With playoff chances hanging by a thread, some franchises made bold decisions, while others seemed to gamble it all away. But this year, we're seeing some shocking winners and unexpected losers. Stick around as we break down which of these teams set themselves up for success and which ones might have just fumbled their Super Bowl dreams away. First up, let's talk about the Kansas City Chiefs. They landed a major asset in DeAndre Hopkins, known as one of the most skilled wide receivers in the NFL. Hopkins' move to Kansas City was a surprising yet brilliant acquisition. Here's why. Hopkins is a five-time Pro Bowler with over 11,000 career receiving yards. He's exactly the weapon Patrick Mahomes needs to fill the void left by Tyreek Hill all those seasons ago. He's reliable hands and route running position gives Mahomes a steady deep field option that should keep defenses on their heels. A conditional fifth round pick for Hopkins is an absolute steal. This is a type of deal that maximizes the Chiefs offense without draining future assets. What is the potential impact of this? With Hopkins in the lineup, the Chiefs offensive ranking currently as ninth in passing could see a significant jump and with a more balanced offense, Kansas City shot another Super Bowl title seems within reach. Next up on our list of winners, the Baltimore Ravens. By picking up wide receiver Deontay Johnson from the Carolina Panthers, they're solidifying a receiving core that has been somewhat lacking. Why is this a great move, you ask? Johnson's addition gives Lamar Jackson a dependable target. Johnson's quick routes and agility add a new layer to Baltimore's passing game. Known for his separation skills, Johnson has consistently ranked among the league's best in creating space. Adding a player like him could be what the Ravens need to balance their offensive playbook. So what is the potential impact of this move on the Baltimore Ravens? With a current record of 6-3, they are fighting for playoff position. Adding Johnson could be the boost they need to break into the top 5 in passing yards and finally achieve postseason success. If you're wondering who else is taking big chances this season, stick around. There's one trade coming up that shocked the entire league. Now, the Washington Commanders made waves by trading for star cornerback Marshawn Lattimore from the Saints. With a 72 record, they're eyeing a deep playoff run, and this move might be their ticket. Why is this move great? Lattimore, a four-time Pro Bowler, has the kind of lockdown cover skills that can completely shift the dynamics of Washington's defense, currently ranked 12th in the league. The Commanders are betting big, giving up multiple picks, but they know that they're bolstering their defense now, is the key to keeping their high power offense in the playoffs. The potential impact on Washington is the secondary, which has struggled against deep passes. We'll see an immediate upgrade with Lattimore. His presence can improve their defense efficiency rankings, helping them secure a strong playoff seating. Next up is the Detroit Lions. The Lions turned heads by adding defensive end Darius Smith, hoping to supercharge their pass rush and maintain their momentum in the NFC. So why is this a great move for them? Smith brings five sacks in nine games and experience that complements Detroit's young defensive core. His presence could open up opportunities for Detroit's pass rushers, giving them extra depth when it counts. Detroit's defense is ranked 15th overall, and Smith's arrival could help them crack the top 10 by season's end. The potential impact of this is the Lions are 6-3 and leading in the division. Adam Smith not only boosts their chances of maintaining that lead, but positions them as a serious playoff contender. So before we get into the first questionable move of this deadline, if you're enjoying this breakdown, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and drop a comment on which team you think made the best move. Trust me, you won't want to miss what's coming up next because we're diving into a trade that could make or break one's team's playoff dreams. And here we are with the questionable move by the Dallas Cowboys, who trade away a fourth round pick and a seventh rounder for John Domingo. Why would I say this move is questionable? The Cowboys are betting on Mingo, but he's yet to establish himself as a top-tier player. Trading two draft picks for a player with minimal impact so far raises eyebrows about Dallas' return on investment. Mingo only has 250 receiving yards this season, ranking well below the league's top rookies as well as second-year players. Dallas needed an immediate contributor, and Mingo's inexperience may not provide that boost. So what are the potential impacts of this move? Dallas is banking on Mingo's development to pay off in the long term, but with a losing record at the moment, they can't afford to gamble. This move could either surprise fans or be seen as an overpayment if Mingo doesn't live up to expectations. On to a brighter note, 
Let's talk about the Buffalo Bills, who made a major play by adding Amari Cooper to their receiving core. Why is this move so great? Cooper's consistency and skills as a route runner make him a valuable target for Josh Allen. With over 8,000 receiving yards in his career, he adds instant credibility to the Bills' offense. The Bills are 7-2 and, and adding Cooper could help them secure a top playoff seed. Cooper's experience and playmaking ability may give them the edge they need to contend in the AFC. So what's the potential impact of him being on his team so far? Both those offense ranked 4th in the league now has the firepower to challenge the best defenses. Cooper's presence could propel the Bills to new heights as they eye the Super Bowl. Now in one of the league's more stunning moves and in all honesty, shouldn't be surprising as how the Raiders season has been going, but in a stunning move nonetheless, the New York Jets reunited Aaron Rodgers with his former star receiver, Devontae Adams. For fans, it's a dream pairing that could reignite the Jets offense. So why is this a great move for them? Rodgers and Adams were electric together in Green Bay, averaging 11 touchdowns per season over four years. Reuniting them could instantly lift the Jets offense production. Adams' ability to dominate one-on-one -on -one matchups bring a new threat to the Jets offense, currently ranked 18th. This move might be the key to propelling them into the playoff contention. So the potential impact so far. The Jets sitting at a relatively average record now have a real shot at making the playoffs. If Rodgers and Adams rekindles their connection, New York could be the dark horse in the AFC. Now finally, let's look at the Bengals' last-minute acquisition of running back Khalil Herbert, who they grabbed from the Bears. Why is this move smart on their behalf? With Zach Moss sideline, Herbert fills a crucial gap in Cincinnati's offense. Known for his agility and speed, he adds a dynamic element to the backfield. The Bengals are currently fighting for playoff seeding here in the AFC with an addition of Herbert to position themselves to secure their division lead and make a serious playoff run. So how does this potentially impact them? If Herbert integrates himself well, the Bengals could solidify their offense and emerge as a top contender in the AFC. So there you have it, our shocking winners and losers of the 2024 NFL trade deadline. From Kansas City's power move with DeAndre Hopkins to Dallas' high-risk bet on Jonathan Mingo, we've seen teams push all in for their playoff dreams. Will these trades prove to be game changers or potential setbacks? Only time will tell. But one thing's for sure, the season is shaping up to be unforgettable. If you enjoyed this breakout, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay updated on all things NFL. And comment below on which trades you think will have the biggest impact. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next video.